fellow hunters, this is Jeremy Lantern, and I'm here with another prop review video. And today I will be reviewing the Peekaboo Ghoul from Target. And um, if anybody knows uh, who the manufacturer is for this particular prop, uh, please let me know in the comments because I did not see anything on the box or the instructions. Um, so I'm not exactly sure who made this. Uh, but I will say that this is a very interesting and unique prop. Um, I've never seen anything like this before. Um, the animation and the way that it interacts with um, an object I think is pretty cool. And um, for the price that I paid and for its size and for the animation and just for the overall quality, I think um, it's a really good prop and definitely one of the best of 2018. Um, like I said, this is, did come from Target. Um, it was $80. So $80 is a, an amazing deal for, you know, what can be considered a life-size prop, uh, animated prop. Uh, it's not huge. It's about five feet tall. Uh, so if you guys have not seen videos on this particular prop before, uh, it is a... Uh, I mean, it says it's a ghoul, but I mean, obviously looking at it, it looks more like a reaper. But the concept is that he actually uses his uh, hand right there um, to to make it look like that he's peeking out of the side of a curtain. And so I think that's just a really inventive way of using a prop um, with your own regular home decor. Um, you do actually receive um, a prop curtain. Uh, with the with this prop so you can use that or you can just use your own curtain um, In fact on the box it, it doesn't even use um, a picture of the curtain that comes with the prop so um, I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to be using this for our front window um, Or if it might be used inside and I might actually use the prop curtain that was provided But let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, finer details of this prop so the head is constructive of uh, like hard plastic and its eyes do light up red. Um, that's about the only thing that I don't like about this prop. Um, uh, just, you know, light up eyes, I don't really care for, um, but obviously that's an easy fix. You can just put um, something over it or you can just disconnect the cord for the uh, eyes. Um, he does come with uh, a shroud hood thing that goes over his head uh, which is covered with gauze a very simple prop to put together in fact um, the instructions they come full color which is nice and they also utilize the uh, the time uh, limit basically where they tell you how long about it should take to put a prop together so if it takes long it's I believe this one said it was 10 minutes so you know you start panicking if you pass the 10 minute mark because you think think something's wrong with you but um, he only does have one arm and it's the one arm that moves the curtain um, so basically what happens is this arm will move to the left and then simultaneously his uh, head moves to the right so it looks like he's moving the curtain and then peering out the opposite direction so it's it's really cool the movement is not huge um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the box to show you what the stock photo looks like for this guy. So if you have not seen this um, in Target yet, um, this is basically the box that it comes in. This is what you'll see. I don't think Target um, displays any of their uh, props. So, um, and I'll get into why I think that's a good thing in a little bit. Um, the animation or the movement is not that drastic as it shows in the picture. Uh, it's still, you know, noticeable enough. It does look like he's moving it, but it doesn't look that uh, angular, I guess you would say. He doesn't lean that far to the right. But it still is pretty cool. And like I said, the uh, curtain they're using here is like a white sheer curtain. Um, and the one that they provide in the box is kind of like a sheer black curtain. Um, and I think um, a sheer curtain, sheer meaning kind of like see-through, kind of translucent, would work best for this prop. So you can still get the idea of, uh, you know, what he would look, what his shape and the outline. And because I think if you were to use it behind like a, 
completely blackout curtain, uh, you wouldn't get the same effect. So um, just some more details, really uh, kind of classic looking skeletal face, nicely detailed, nicely painted. Um, I'm going to remove the uh, cloth that they give you for on top of his arm, just to show you that it's basically just a arm on a metal stick that comes out about six, seven inches. Um, and that is, like I said, that is the arm that moves and it's the only arm. Um, and, uh, it's a, it's a very cool prop and it was one that I think as soon as I had seen it, um, I like to kind of give a shout out to one of my favorite channels, The Best Things. Um, he did a, an amazing uh, setup video for this guy. Um, he actually made me want to purchase this and I may have not even uh, thought twice about it if I had seen it in the store without um, the aid of that video. So um, there's not too many large animatronics or props that I was interested in this year. I was actually kind of getting Depressed. Uh, I hadn't seen anything at Spirit that I really liked this year. Um, Home Depot did have some pretty cool stuff, but it was not until I saw this one that um, that I was really happy. It was like, yay, finally a life-size prop that I, I have some interest in. So I'm going to go ahead and give you a little demo. Um, I do apologize in the demo video. There is, it's kind of like backlit. Uh, this was unfortunately the only place that I could hang up the curtain and it was the only time that I could do this video. So um, but you still get the kind of like the idea of uh, what this prop does. So there is the Peekaboo Ghoul from Target. Um, I think it is, like I said before, very interesting, very different, uh, very unique, and uh, would have a place in anybody's haunt. Definitely has a place in mine. Uh, as you guys know by now that I am doing a, uh, or you may not know, but I am doing a black and white haunt. Um, all my props, characters, actors, sets everything is black and white and he other than the red lights uh, on the eyes like i said i would be uh covering up uh everything is pretty much black and white or at least gray grayscale etc but um really good prop um if i had to rate him on my scale i would say that i definitely recommend him Recommended for pretty much everything. Quality, um, uh, how how different it is from any pro props we've seen before. Um, and even though it has no sound effects and it has no phrases, a lot of people are kind of turned off by that. I will say that that is a plus for me. I am starting to get very uh, tired of props and animatronics that have uh, phrases and sound effects and... Um, I guess sound effects are not that bad. Phrases, I mean, if you, if you're really constructing a haunt, a walkthrough haunt like I do, um, you know, phrases are just useless and they get lost on your guests. They don't care that <laughs> your guests don't care what the props are saying. Uh, they just want a quick scare and move along. So when props have like phrases where they're speaking for like a whole 30, 40 seconds, um, like I said, they just lose interest. This one he moves like every few seconds and he gets his point across with the scare and uh, no talking necessary. So um, very good prop. Like I said, I recommend it. Um, I had said before that Target does not have these on display. And I think that's a, that's a good thing because of the fact that, you know, when people come to your haunt, you know, they've already seen props from, you know, Spirit Halloween and Home Depot and they know what to expect. Um, they've only seen maybe just the box of this, so they don't ex they don't know exactly what's going to happen 
or what kind of scare they're, they're going to be uh, given from it. So that in itself is kind of like a positive that the fact that uh, Target does not display their props. But, you know, of course, you are taking a chance on purchasing something that you have not seen in action, but that's why I do these videos, <laughs> so you can see what they look like in action. So there it is, the Peekaboo Ghoul from Target. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you're seeing, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, keep it creepy.